Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. My name is She's on a Budget and today we are back for another video. In this video, I'll be setting up my sinking funds tracker for the month of April. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in watching, stay tuned. Hello budget people and welcome back to my channel. We are back for another video. I promise at the end of my budget video that I would be sharing with you setup of my sinking funds tracker. I usually do this off camera and then come in at the end of the month and then show you what I've managed to save for the month. But because I haven't filmed a video for so long, I thought it would be nice to get you up to date and share with you some of the changes that have occurred in regards to my sinking funds as I said, guys, it has been a while. I don't even think I filmed a sinking funds video for February. So this is technically two months that we haven't done a sinking funds tracker. There have been quite a few changes that have gone on. Um, so yeah, I might as well get you up to speed with these changes, guys. Okay, so I have my sinking funds folder here ready to go. I've also got some cashless sinking fund trackers in here that I will refer to when I get onto those sinking funds. But yeah, let's get started with the first one. So the first one I have is Nevea. So I'm going to do a starting balance for her. So we currently have 20, 40, 60, 80 pounds in her envelope. This envelope, as well as the other two envelopes for my children, are for their birthdays. So I put some money towards their birthdays each week. That way, when their birthdays come around, I have birthday money, a birthday present, ready and raring to go. So, so far, her birthday fund has, what, 80 pounds in there. Her birthday isn't until November now. So she, not long ago, had her birthday but we are doing really well. So we've currently got 80 pounds in her envelope. Sorry guys, I had to swap around because I'm right-handed. So it's easier for me to have the book on my right hand side, makes sense. So yeah, Jada's envelope is next. And it was her birthday in February, guys. You have actually missed it. Unfortunately, we have actually missed the handing over of funds for this envelope, but I did manage to get, I think 200 and, 40 pounds in the end or 250 i can't remember now and i have actually started saving obviously towards next year's birthday so we currently have 30 pounds in her envelope and as i said i'm planning on to put 20 pounds towards this envelope this month um i've already budgeted for this money so that's done um tyrese is next so tyrese is my eldest and it is his birthday this month, guys. So his birthday is on the 16th of April. So it's coming up very, very soon. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. So, so far we have 240 pounds in his envelope. So he's well on his way. Um, so we've got 240 in here. My aim is to put £20 this month as well. So yeah, but at the end of the month when I check this envelope in, there should be a little bit of money in there for next year's birthday as well. So that's all done. And then car maintenance is next. So car maintenance is obviously for all things to do with my car. I'm just sighing guys because this car has been so expensive for me over the last six months so it is a bit of a sigh um we currently have 20 40 60 80 90 pounds in here it is due a service and mot for a while i've had some money put to one side in the bank for my car in preparation for this service and mot that's due to happen this month so i've got 90 pounds in here in the actual envelope and I am going to be adding 40 pounds to this money this month. So that's all done. My water bill is next. So I've got my water bill and my car tax envelopes here. And I have made a slight change guys to these envelopes that I will share with you of my first cash stuffing video. 
but these envelopes are going to be literally coming out of my sinking fund binder but i have got a new system in place for them but i'm just going to put them down anyway so my water bill and my car tax as you can see they're both totally empty because i have just paid for them both so i try to pay these annual bills in advance so i don't have a direct debit for them it does work out cheaper for car tax. It doesn't really make that much of a difference for my water, but it is nice to have those bills paid up in advance rather than having to struggle to find the money to pay for them monthly. So yeah, that's zero in those two. And I am going to be putting 20 pounds towards my water and 20 for car tax. Okay, and then insurance is next. And so my car insurance is next. And this is another annual bill or expense that I pay. Um, I try to pay my insurance for the whole year. So I save up money each week, put it to one side. So I have that money ready and ready to go. I make a massive saving by paying annually for my car insurance. So it's definitely one of the things that I am desperate to keep doing. So my car insurance is next. And we currently have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. So we've got 180 in here so far. So that can go back. And then gifts is next. So this is my gifts envelope. And I am thinking of giving this one a little bit of a freeze, guys. Now, you might be thinking, why are you going to do that? You know, you're still going to need to buy presents and such. And it's true. I do use this envelope for gifts for other people, you know, for special occasions and things like that. But this will definitely be an envelope that I am going to be looking to stuff using like variable income as opposed to using my emergency fund to stuff it. So... Let's do a little check. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 pounds in here at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of a freeze on. Ooh. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a freeze on. I am going to be leaving this blank and then whatever I manage to add to this envelope this month, I will add that amount in when I come to check in my envelopes. I forgot to put down car insurance, sorry, it's 60 pounds a month for car insurance but yeah i'm gonna leave gifts blank for now and i'll come in and add the amount that i managed to put away into this envelope if i managed to put any should i say um, at the end of the month my annuals are next so this envelope is for annual insurances like pet insurance and home insurance so i've got my annuals here and I am thinking of changing up this envelope as well. So changing up this system, um, all will be revealed, guys. All will be revealed. But I am thinking of changing this envelope as well. It isn't a definite like the other two, though. We currently have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90 pounds in here. Um, I may just leave it, but I'm not sure. So 90 pounds is in here. And I only put 10 pounds a month. £10 a month. Sorry guys, I'm lying and I'm messing up my planner because it has recently got up to £20. I forgot. So it is £20 a month for annuals as well. And then health is next. My health envelope, this money is going to be coming out very soon because I don't know if I told you, but the reason why I was putting a little bit extra towards this envelope was because I have got a dentist appointment coming up that I wanted to make sure that I had the money ready and ready to go for. We currently have 20, 40, 60, 80, 110 pounds, which should be enough. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just joining up my numbers for some reason at the moment. So yeah, we've got 110 pounds in here, which should be enough if I don't need any extra work done, which <laughs> I'm hoping I don't. So that should be enough in there. I have got my appointment booked for my dentist this month. So that's great. Um, and I am going to be putting into this envelope £10 this month to get it started for the next appointment. And then the next envelope I'm going to come across is my luxury envelope. As you can see, it is bare bones empty, guys. So I'm going to put it down on the tracker um, only because... 
it is still a sinking fund and if i do have any extra money it'll probably be the last one that i stuff to be fair but if i do have any extra money i will put some money towards my luxury envelope but it is at a whopping zero at the moment some old habits crept back in guys not gonna lie and instead of addressing those feelings spend quite a lot of money so my clothes envelope which i'll come on to in a minute and my luxury envelope are totally empty because that is where the money came from do i regret it not at all because that is what the money is for i would have been a lot more upset with myself if i went into debt during that time which i obviously didn't um but yeah we're still good it's just that we're starting again unfortunately with this envelope but it's all good guys i'm not upset at all so as i said there's a whopping zero in my luxury envelope my emergency fund i did have some cash in here i think the last time that i spoke to you um but i did put that money into my emergency fund pot so that's fine which is what i'm going to come on to now so my e-fund i currently have in that account eight thousand eight hundred and 37 pounds 62 i think the last time i spoke to you i had over 10 000 pounds in there guys but i have had to use some of that money to pay for my personal expenses this month and i will be going into it as you may already know from watching my monthly budget video this month so yeah it does pinch a bit i have to say i'm not gonna lie it does pinch a bit it was nice to see that the emergency fund had grown so much but these times are the reason why an emergency fund is important for the times when money is tight. So yes, and as far as adding any extra money that I have coming in back to that emergency fund, I will be using this envelope to do so. Okay, the other envelope I wanna talk about though, which is busting at the seams is my holiday savings tracker. So I'm not gonna count the money because I don't tend to count the money guys. Um, but my family holiday, I have been consistent. As you can see, I've still continued to stuff my sinking fund envelopes. I've still budgeted and I've still managed to put some money towards this savings challenge, which I'm really, really proud of. Yes, it was all of the smaller numbers, but I'm still really happy because I'm still on track with this holiday savings challenge which is great my prayer is that if the business does pick up towards the end of the year maybe i can go for some of the larger numbers um but yeah we will just see guys i mean i would love to be able to still put some money towards this family holiday um this month but i'm not going to use my emergency fund money to do that so it will be purely money that i receive from etsy or from other sources of income so yeah really happy and really proud that i've managed to keep consistent with this challenge so that is all done moving into my cashless sinking funds so we only have three in this binder and before i go any further i tried i just want to start by saying i did try but cashless tracking is not for me I, I can't do it i i can't i can't i've tried it i can't there are certain things that i think are good ideas in theory but i definitely don't think i'm ready to go down the cashless route at all so i am going back to envelopes for the sinking funds but as far as getting you up to speed so let's start with hair and beauty as you can see we have a balance of zero in here over the last few months we've definitely dipped into this envelope a lot more than we usually would so we are starting again with hair and beauty and the same goes for my clothes envelope again we are starting again at zero last one we have is youtube and luckily enough we do have some money in our youtube pot i currently have 300 pounds in that account i don't know why but i think it's because it has been assigned to youtube why um this account or this pot should i say hasn't been touched so yeah when it works, I'm happy to talk about it, but when it doesn't work, I have to be honest. And I definitely think these two expenses do not work as cashless trackers at all for me. So yeah, they are gonna be changed back to envelopes. But yeah, that's my cashless binder done. Okay, so now that our envelopes are all checked in and up to date, I can come in and put my totals header at the bottom here. 
and then I'll make a mini transaction log underneath this to separate them out. I'm hoping the smaller the transaction log, the less likely I am to spend the money. <laughs> that's the aim. Okay, so that's my transaction log done. And then I can put in Okay, so that is all done, guys. And now I can come in and write down starting balance for my sinking funds for the month of April. I've put down all of my categories and I've also put down their starting balances and where I can, I've put down the amount of money that I'm going to be putting towards that envelope at the moment. Okay, so my starting balance in terms of sinking funds and emergency fund is £10,057.62. Okay guys, so that is all done. I'm all set up for the month. We'll come in and update you all as to how things have gone at the end of the month. But yeah, that is all for now. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please not forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you are kept up to date with all my future videos. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys.